Yes, good evening everyone. Actually, in fact, I'm very shy to talk because I don't know whether you follow my English, uh -huh. but it's okay. You do. Sure, sure. sure. Yeah. See, we I have understand. long thing to explain. Just laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Please. <laughs> because actually, I don't know about Medjugorje. And I have never traveled, unlike Father Augustine. I have not gone out of India any time. This is the first time that I am coming out of India. Oh. So I had a friend. I have a friend, please, Mary Evans. She's my friend and she considers me her spiritual son. Oh. So I have not seen her before, but I have known her only through Facebook. Since I'm a priest, she became my friend. <laughs> so from the moment that I knew her, she used to tell me about Medjugorje always. She had been several times maybe to this place. Always she used to tell me. So she, by all means she wanted me to be here. So in 2019 before pandemic broke out, there was there is a call in 2006 tours because they come pilgrims come and they ask for a priest to accompany them as a spiritual guide. In fact, through Mary Vance I have applied so that her desire and my desire will fulfill that I will be in Medjugorje. But unfortunately, pandemic broke out and the trip got cancelled. And meanwhile, last year, I was severely affected with COVID. And I, mean, I was in ICU for three weeks. My bishop, everybody thought I will die. It's a, to say it's my second life, perhaps. So I was so severely affected, I could not breathe and my saturation was 45, 50. Mm. Wow. So even doctors just said that we don't, we can't do anything, can't help her. Mm. But in the eyes, we have been watching people in front of my eyes, hundreds of people died. Mm. I'm the only youngest person in that ICU block. All are elder to me, 50, 60. Mm. I'm only just 36 as our young priest. Mm -hmm. So I just prayed to Mother Mary Medjugorje. Because I constantly remind, time and again she used to tell me, Mary oh. Vance. <laughs> yeah, because she has that much attachment and love. Mm -hmm. She might have experienced the love that from here. So mm -hmm. I also just prayed. Mm -hmm. See, I am just an young fellow, five years old, in priest. I have not seen the life yet, not started my priestly ministry as well. So please give me. This is only my prayer that I prayed to Mother Mary of Medjugorje. So somehow I am here. But still I have problem with my lungs because fibrosis I have. So you might have seen while I was climbing, I was feeling little breathless coughing. So this is the way I came. In between actually I do not, as father said, I do not join it. Mm -hmm. But through Mary events, she proposed to my name to Miss Janet. Mm -hmm. And not only that, I have a great respect for Mary events. Mm -hmm. I am working in North India as a missionary priest. I, I hail from southern parts of India. There we have a number of Catholics, I mean, praying plenty of priests and religious, but whereas northern part of India, we don't have. So therefore, I went as a missionary diocesan priest. So I am working with the tribals and uncivilized people, illiterate people. So we have a good school, small school, and around 720 children are there. They are very poor. But through Mary events, once again, she has guided me to apply to the Mary's Mills. You might have seen Medjugorje. Yeah. Mary's Mill is the fruit of Medjugorje. Yeah, it's a Amen. solution for the hunger world. So it is she directed me to apply in India. Of course, it is from Scotland and Ireland, but the coordinators are there in, in Delhi, Noida. So it is she guided me. Then I applied to the Noida. Then from there, every day we are feeding children, 720 children we feed through Mary's Meals. Amen. So therefore, this is really a blessing for me that she has granted, she offered me. Because I cannot thank, I have no words to thank her. No. Yeah, because we are not known each other. In this yeah. digital world, you may be seeing many fake IDs, scams, <laughs> fraud. But still these both women trusted me. <laughs> they have never seen, never met me earlier other than calling. I may keep my FB ID, a priest or anything. I can more fun do that. But still they trusted me. So they have helped me to hear. And moreover, I came here just to thank Mother Mary because it is through Mother of Medjugorje 
I am alive today and I could feed my children 70 to I will show you pigs and the group I will forward if anybody wants. So every day I am feeding 720 children. Hmm. It's not because of my credit. It is because she directed me and now she has <laughs> promised me. And this is a blessing. When you believe in Mother Mary, I experience that she will never let us go. Yeah, yeah because yeah. time and again we see anywhere in the world she has appeared. Her only concern is come to Jesus. Yes. So we are all on the process of going towards that holiness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, these two non women instrumental <laughs> in my priestly life to experience Blessed Mother Mary's glory. Mm -hmm. So therefore I promise, I carry this message to my part of the world. Amen. Maybe perhaps many do not know about Mary's glory. Yeah, because important. even when we went to uh, immigration in Hyderabad, when we said Bosnia, that fellow is wondering at me. <laughs> is there a country like that Mary's glory place? <laughs> even father had experience, they do not know. So in India, so we are working. And we all of us are here together to reach that state of life holiness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, on behalf of everybody else gathered, I once again thank Miss Janet and Mary Vance for helping me to reach here and express my gratitude towards Mother Mary for giving me one more, I mean, second life, I would say, and helping my children to have one meal at least per day to mm -hmm. Mary's yes. meal. Thank Amen. you so much, everyone.